Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n as the input and print the integer between every two consecutive odd prime numbers from 1 to n as the output. So first we are going to accept the integer n and then print the integers between every two consecutive odd prime numbers from 1 to n as the output. So for a case like integers are 5 and 7 means so these two integers are two consecutive odd prime numbers and they have only one number between them that is 6. So this will be considered as our output. Now we'll take our test case. So here first we'll write the prime numbers from 1 to 20. And 19. So these are the prime numbers from 1 to 20. And so when you consider 3 and 5, there is only one integer between them. So 3 and 5 will be considered. So 4 is between them. So we'll have 4 in our output. And then we'll consider 5 and 7. Both are odd and they have only one even integer between them that is 6 and then we have 7 and 11. So 7 and between 7 and 11 we have 8, 9, 10. There is more than one integer. So we will not consider them. And then we consider 11 and 13 because there is only one even integer between them that is 12. And then for 13 and 17 it is more than one so we'll not will ignore it and then for 1719 we have one even integer that is 18 so this will be our output now we will take our another test case So for 43, we have to write up to, that is, the odd integers from 1 to 43. thirty-seven, and then we have 41 and 40, 40. Forty three and forty seven. So now we can stop the, from this. So now let us find the integers. So after nineteen, after nineteen we have four. Then now we will get after nineteen. So from nineteen to twenty three. There is more than one integer, so we'll leave it. And then from 23 to 29, also there is more than one integer, so we'll leave it. And then from 29 to 31, we have only one even integer that is 30, so we'll consider it in as our output. And then we have 31 to 37 so there is more than one integer and then we have 
37 to 41 so there is more than one integer and then from 41 to 43 we have one even integer that is 42 so this will be our output now we'll know our logic so the logic is we have to iterate from 3 to n as from 2 to 3 we have no even integer so from 3 to n will iterate and if the num is not prime and n minus that is the num minus 1 and the num plus 1 are prime means then we are going to print that num so if you consider 3 and 5 so when we consider 3 and 5 the integer between them is 4 so this num 4 num minus 1 is also prime that is 3 and num plus 1 5 is also a prime so we'll print that num so when we consider this 41 and 43 the integer between them is 42 so 42 minus 1 and 42 plus 1 are consecutive or prime numbers so we'll print that num Now let us implement our program. First, we'll get our integer n, and then we'll iterate over from three to n plus one. So here it is plus one as it is exclusive, and then we have three here. So after iterating, we have to check the condition that is, if not is prime of num so is prime is a function which determines the num is prime or not so the num should not be a prime and also the is prime of num minus one num minus one must be a prime and the num plus one also must be a prime so that's the condition and if the condition is true means then we have to print the term and use end argument so let us define the function is prime So here we have the num and for CTR in range 2 comma int of num into 0 0.5 plus 1. So here we are iterating from 2 to square root of the num and after that we check whether the num that is the num mod CTR must be divisible. So if it is then we'll return false and if these are not executed then we'll return true so now let us run our program with our first test case yes we have got the correct output now we'll pass our another test case here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.